Well guys, I don't want to bore you too much talking in the, in the race video about everything, but I did want to go over the, um, talking about the brakes at least a little bit. These Woolwoods, the rotors are slightly smaller than the stock R brakes. Um, I think, by like I showed in the video, uh, the, the link down below where I did the install and showed the rotor comparison. Anyway, the brakes outperform those by a ton. Now there's a lot of variables. There's uh, OEM lines versus steel lines, OEM fluid versus the Motul 600 that I'm using, um, the EBC yellow pads versus the um, Carbotec AX6 pads I'm using, and of course the stock brake caliper itself um, versus my, which is a single piston, made out of like iron or steel, something really heavy, versus these six piston uh, aluminum calipers. Mind you, and I sh shaved 40 pounds off the front end from just switching in general. And then of course there's a, there was a one piece slotted rotor um, that was that had vents, but it wasn't directionally vented. And then and there's these rotors that are two piece slotted and directionally vented. So there was a lot of differences, but overall the brakes are way way better. I might up the pad um, temperature range ever so slightly. I need to get like a laser gun or someone's laser temperature gun to read caliper temperatures at autocross, and I can base it better. Um, like I said, the Amarillo and uh, Roswell events don't typically have as many runs back to back like that. Like there's more time in between laps and it's not as much speed. And this last event we had, I mean, I could get, I mean, almost to the top of second gear right before the stop box. So, that, I mean, I put a big strain on, you know, heating up the brakes and the, the pads in general. And then you go in line and there's maybe like four cars ahead of you um, or four cars yeah ahead of you and that's all the time you get to cool down before doing it again and then when I um in the morning the timer didn't work for one of my runs so I had to do a seventh run I didn't have to but you could feel the tires starting to get a little greasy the the I don't think it was the brakes itself because the, the pedal stayed good it just wasn't um braking as well I think that was because of the pad being so hot but uh you brake gurus let me know I'm not gonna upgrade anything other than fluid or pads um but because i really like these brakes and that 40 pounds off the front end plus the lightweight battery so 60 pounds off the front end in general um you could feel that on the, on the track like it felt super duper nice and i want to continue cutting weight out um one way or another i mean eventually that ac is going to be out and you get the compressor out then at that, so at that point i don't even think you need a belt because the only thing the belt is on there for is the ac compressor because your water pump isn't on the pulley, your oil pump isn't on the pulley, um, oh, I guess just, just for the alternator then, it'd be just for the alternator, dang. So, but still, getting that, all that AC junk out of there, completely ripped out of the car, um, there's still a good bit of interior stuff I can take out, lightweight seats, um, so there's still quite a bit of weight to be had, and I think tomorrow before work, me and my boy Eric, in the last video with the Camaro, which was his first event, 770 some horsepower, uh, Pro Charge Camaro and uh, went out there and kicked butt. He dropped what, um, like 12 or 13 seconds off his first lap time. Got first in his group. And they're gonna bump him to another class next time. Uh, the Porsche Club doesn't really do classes like um, SCCA, so it's just kind of like your experience level. You get in one of four groups. So you get new, kind of new, but not really. You know what I mean? So he'll get bumped up next time he comes out for that, which is dope. And um, so anyway, shaved a bunch of weight at the front end, talked about the brakes, which are just great. I'm so happy. Um, WTC pedal spacer, some of you guys have still been asking about that. I didn't, like I'm so used to not being able to, um, I'm so used to not being able to heel toe that I forget to even try it when I'm out there because you know, I'm in the zone. So I don't really want to mess around too much with the with the formula, but I need to get out there and do it. But just having the, the brake or the gas pedal up that much closer to you I feel even if you're not you know towing is beneficial especially in stuff like this because um, I will I will be on the brake and let off the brake real quick and tap and come back but I am like almost pretty much fully letting off the brake when I do that but having it that much closer is awesome and um, just the way it feels even just daily driving I really like the way it, it brings that pedal up closer 
one of the random things we do. Turbo blanket, I mean, I've had one on there before. Same brand, performing as intended. Um, that downpipe, tracks like that pipe, four inch. Now it did, and some of you guys mentioned that it was a little close to that heat shield, the ABS heat shield that's plastic. It melted it ever so slightly, and it did that before this event, but I did not notice anything weird with ABS or anything having to do with that. I think it just melted the heat shield a little bit and it's not affecting the module that sits right there at all. But this, the added spool that comes from that thing, the sound, the downpipe crackles and stuff you guys heard in the last video, it is awesome. 100% 10 10 recommend. Get the Catless one if you live in a place where you can run Catless. Um, yes, loving it. And then what else? The BFI weighted knob. I mean, I really only in first and second gear in autocross. It's very rare occasions that I ever get in the third, but um, it's weighted. It adds some nice kick to your throw, if that even makes sense. But, um, yeah, if you're a manual guy, definitely recommend a weighted knob of some sort. Race Snag or BFI or whoever. What else? What else we got here? I mean, we don't have anything new on the suspension other than the weight loss we did between the rotors, uh, the big, well, front and rear rotors, big brick kit in general, um, racing line stud conversion. I mean, the caps are getting, I mean, the, the nuts are getting messed up because I've taken my wheels on and off, on and off, on and off, bleeding the brakes, checking suspension bits and this and that, fluid changes, but um, obviously they held up on track. Nothing bad happened, so I'd say that they, uh, they're doing their job. I don't know how, obviously it's not like an actual road course or anything, but um, they're doing great so far. And oh, I forgot to touch the PM4 after driving. I mean, it was like 90 something degrees, so I'd imagine it would be hot anyway, but uh, I mean, it's doing its job. No fueling issues, so can't argue with that. And then we got the P3 ethanol analyzer in, um, which is doing its job. It's really cool to throw some E in the tank and then just watch that baby rise. Um, as you go, it's definitely neat. We'll be soon, to, soon tuning on E85. I, got, I need to order tires, and now looking at my data logs at the top, I'd say about 55, 6,000 6, RPM and up, and at least fourth gear. Um, I'm starting to see my AITs are starting to creep, 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 creep at 32 pounds. So um, I need a, a better intercooler. So I'm waiting to see if the IE V2 is gonna beat out the AMS intercooler, and uh, if it does, then I'll get that, and if it doesn't, then I'm gonna switch to the AMS, so I'll probably be selling my racing line intercooler, which is great for stage two, car or stock turbo or anything less, I mean, around anywhere from 26 to 28 pounds on the EQT standard housing, um, it did fine, but now I'm just trying to raise the bar a little bit more, 32 pounds of boost on the top end and starting to get some heat soak, and I said about 30 degrees above ambient, and that's gonna rise as temperatures rise. I mean, that was at like, um, I think it was like almost 80 out and it got to like damn near 110 in that log. Now third gear isn't as bad, but when I did a, a two, three, four log um, all together and then yeah, just fourth gear was not liking that. And you could see that it was starting to get a little bit of timing pull because the heat was starting to get way up there. So that'll be an upgrade soon. Tires first, then intercooler. I think I'm gonna hop back to motor mounts. They're running stage one BFI, motor stage two trans, and they revise their trans mount to not just be an insert inside of the OEM trans mount. They just take the old stuff out and put a new one in. Well, they revised the whole thing. It looks really pretty. So I think after tires and then intercooler, I'm gonna upgrade to full stage two mounts. Um, sell those two. So, and I still need to get, I have the stock R brakes. You guys know any non-PP, GTIs that need an upgrade for, I mean, I'll sell it for pretty cheap. Stop tack rotors, golf bar brakes, it needs pads, um, and the one time use caliper carrier bolts, but uh, brand new 034 stainless lines that never been used. So, we got those sitting there. Um, so, yeah, that's a little update on me and the car. Um, lots of racing coming up. We're going this weekend to the drag strip, Amarillo. Um, I just ran my first 11 last night, 11.99 at 1.19 on the brakes. Had a stop sign coming up. This via draggy. I'll throw a picture up. Uh, nothing great, but we're gonna go to the track this weekend. Hopefully the weather is decent and uh, I can beat that time at an actual strip. I'd be very happy, mind you. That altitude last night was like 6,500. Tonight's like 7,000. 
and God knows what it's going to be this weekend, depending on the heat. But Amarillo is a thousand feet less than here, so if I do some runs at the end of the night when it's cooler and the DA is lower, could maybe get like a, around five thousand, hopefully, and uh, did a decent pass. So, fingers crossed. Look out for that video. Uh, check out the autocross video that I'm referring to. Posted that yesterday, and then. Uh, what else to post? There's all types of things. Just go through the channel, like, subscribe, send this stuff to your friends. Um, you guys that got any questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below. Oh, also, if you remember from the brake install, I talked about the brake lines being a little bit shorter than what they should be, and Will is going to send me new ones out. I keep forgetting to send them pictures of the way I have the lines routed and how they don't fit, but I ran this track day and probably, I don't know, a couple thousand miles with, with them routed you know, the other way around, the strut, and it's been fun. Full lock to lock at the racetrack, no issues, so um, I'm just going to leave them, unless I actually remember the next time I take my wheels off to take pictures, but I think that's it. That's all I got, so anything else, let me know, drop down below. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.